Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ashley and I'm back with another video and today I'm starting my back to school series and I'm gonna start it off with um, some freshman advice. I am about to be an incoming freshman in college. I'm going to Olivet Nazarene University. Catch me there. I don't really have any specific order or like um, specifics of what I'm going to say. I'm just gonna go from my personal experience of high school and I'm going to share it with you guys. So first of all, we're gonna start off with academics because we go to school for academics, we don't go to school for anything else, none of these holes, none of these beaches, none of these, no. We go to school for learning. I feel like people are listening to me, so I'm gonna close the door. Stay on top of your stuff. Like when I say stay on top of it, stay on top of it. Get a planner, write down everything you need to do, take care of all of that, like do not play. Especially freshman year, like freshman year and sophomore year, I played the most. And I think that's what really messed up my GPA is because I was so worried about having friends in a social life when it's really not that important. You're like we don't go to school for that. And I feel like I would've gotten to a better college and had a way better GPA if I just focused on my work and not on boys, cause girls, but especially these freshmen now, y'all need to stop worrying about these niggas. Y'all need to stop worrying about them. No, like, you need to worry about your education because right now, like, think of school as like a job, okay? Like, if you do not get your job done, like, in the future, like, no. Like, you, you're not gonna have the future that you want. Like, you don't wanna sit there and be that person that's working, um, I'm sorry, but like, I don't mean to offend anybody, but working for the white man, like, you don't want to be that person, like, get out, like, try to have your own business, like, set your goals for yourself, set your goals high for yourself, like, and try to reach each and every one of those goals, and freshman year is the way to go, is to start fresh right there, right then, like, don't play, <laughs> like, don't play at all, like, I, but freshman year is probably the easiest year either way, but still, like, take it serious, um, because your girl did, she didn't take it. Serious. I mean, I still got accepted into a college. I honestly didn't think I was, but take it serious. Learn from it. I want to talk about is friends, okay? Keep your circle small. The friends that you go into uh, freshman year with will not be the friends that you end senior year with. And trust and believe that, like, that's just life. Um, I went to... Uh, two different middle schools. I went to uh, a private school and I went to a public school. Um, I went to a public school for half of sixth grade and then the other half that I transferred to private school and I left that private school like sophomore year and went back to public school. But that's besides the point. So entering, uh, entering middle school, um, of course, you know, you have your friends that you know since elementary, whatever the case. But I'm telling you, as soon as I had freshman year, um, like things change you know friends change people change like you're not gonna have the same friends anymore and you know and it's good though so i'm saying to choose your friends very wisely um another thing in high school is to um do not tell your business to nobody when i tell you don't tell your business don't tell your business like keep your shit to yourself stay low-key low-key is the best way to go and i've learned that the hard way but um as i hit like maybe like senior year a little bit of junior year i've learned that i gotta keep my shit to myself because these hoes are fake okay these i fucking hated my last the high school that i graduated from hoes are fake like fake bitch fake <laughs> nobody's your real friend i came out of high school with like two friends that I talk to consistent no three friends that I talk to consistently and that's it um otherwise all those other people that I talk to during freshman to senior year where are they nowhere so you it's true that you will most likely leave high school with three good friends or two good friends or maybe just one good friend but it doesn't matter as long as you have it's quality over quantity to be honest like that's it that's all Next, I want to talk about boys. Um, do not date in high school. Well, I'm not gonna say you don't date in high school. I recommend that you don't date in high school. Um, 
that was a major setback for me. I'm the type of person that I'll put somebody else's needs before mine and I'll worry about somebody else before me. So uh, that really messed up me academically, mentally, all that, like especially the last relationship that I left high school um, with. Um, that really, that was a major setback. I almost didn't graduate from that relationship. Um, it really messed me up in the head. But girl, when you learn your self-worth, when you learn your self-worth, it's the best thing ever. Like, I'm telling you, like, do not date in high school. Like, have fun. Hang out with your friends. Do things like going to Six Flags, going to the mall, go to the movies. Like, do some shit that you teenagers need to be doing. And having sex and talking to boys. It's just not one of them. I'm not saying have me friends with boys. But, like, don't be like, oh, I'm trying to kiss you. Mwah, bitch, but no. Bye. No. Don't be doing all that. It's a way till you get out of high school. Because that's, that's. That's when you're going to really meet your husband, okay? 99.9% .9 of the time, the person that you're talking to or dating in high school will not be the nigga that you leave high school with. So, don't be going for these niggas okie dokes and don't be giving the cookie to any motherfucking nookie. Like, don't. <laughs> I'm so sad. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I can say about high school. Oh, high school is like the best of times and the worst of times, but I'm telling you, like, when senior um, year hits, like, freshman year, you're gonna be like, oh, I just can't wait get to get out. Or actually, freshman year is probably, like, the fun year, but, like, sophomore, junior year is like, oh, I can't wait to get out, but I'm telling you, like, once senior year hits, it's like, oh, my God, where am I going to go? Like, I'm putting me an adult, like, what college am I going to go to, like, it's just so much things to worry about and then when you actually graduate it's probably like the most emotional time ever because it's like where did all the time go like you're already an adult and it's crazy like I feel like I was just a freshman like yesterday and I'm already about to be in college in like two weeks so just cherish the moments that you have in high school make the best memories stay out of the drama stay out of the drama because Lord Jesus I fucking hate drama but you know bitches like to start <laughs> so stay out of the drama and just live your life, boo. Live your life, and 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 just 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 pop on these hoes, pop on these hoes. Cause there's a lot of hating ass hoes. There's a lot of hating ass hoes in high school. Cause niggas, bitches be hating, but just don't worry about none of them. Because at the end of the day, you're never gonna see them ever again. So just worry about you and your future, and stay on top of it, and grind, and set goals for yourself now. Like I'm telling you, set goals for yourself right now. Write all of the goals down. And every single day, work towards it. Do little things to work towards it. Read, like, positivity books. Like, listen to Les Brown or, like, some inspiring, like, people. Like, just do whatever you can. Because we, especially especially African Americans, like, we need more people that are striving to, like, their goal. Um, that is my little tips for um high school i guess um i'm not really good at advice but i tried to give you share from my heart um how i felt about high school and i would i wish somebody would have told me but you know i went through high school by myself kind of and i learned it all by myself but <laughs> um yeah so i hope you guys like this video remember to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell down below so you guys can be notified every time i post Okay. Bye, guys. Mwah. <laughs> oh, if you guys want a curly hair routine, comment down below. Bye, guys. <laughs>